Hello guys and welcome to another video. I'm Marie and this is a book haul. Um, I just had a week-long holiday, uh, because that's where a holiday is in Denmark. And I went to London and I bought a ton of books. Because I had, you know, saved up so I could use a lot of money. At least I think it's a ton of books. I know people go on book hauls where they buy like 20 books or something, but I don't have that much money. So, this book haul contains 12 books. I know, that's a lot. For me, that's a lot. Um, and a little, like, cute thingies that I also bought in London. And I wanted to show them to you. Uh, so, let's get started. First book I bought was Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead. I think it's the fifth book in the Vampire Academy series, which means that I'm only missing the last one. Uh, I haven't read this yet, but I'm really looking forward to it because, you know, it's a good series and I sort of want it, I want it to be like wrapped up soon, so yeah. Uh, then I bought two books in a series, also by Rochelle Mead. I bought The Golden Lily and I bought The Indigo Spell, number two and three in the Bloodline series. Uh, I really, really, really like this series and I've already read this one, but I didn't have it as like, uh, I didn't have it a copy. And I haven't read the Indigo spell yet, so I think it's kind of the next one I'm going for. Um, but these are really good, I love the characters, and it's a spin-off to Vampire Academy, and even though I haven't read the whole thing, I kind of know what happened. Then I bought a graphic novel! I bought Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. I just saw this in a bookstore and I thought, you know what? What the hell? I mean, I could totally do with a... A graphic novel and it's actually it is totally colored and I thought it was pretty cool so yeah I, uh, and I have read the lightning thief so I needed this then I bought uh, the air affair by Jasper afford I think that's how you say his name um, even though it's kind of quite weirdly spelled I saw this on a couple of channels uh, where people had read this and said it was really good and so I got interested, and I saw it in the bookstore, and I thought, no, why not? It's like a sort of a detective kind of novel uh, with um, fictional characters are being kid kidnapped, and I thought it was, you know, that's interesting. I mean, what I find interesting, which is like, I find a lot of things interesting, a lot of weird things, like history. At least that's what people in my class would say. That segues me perfectly over to the next book. You know, things like history. This is the Time Traveler's Guide. It's amazing how tongue tied I can get. Uh, this is the Time Tra Traveler's Guide to Elizabethan England by Ian Mortimer. As you may or may not know, I have had the first, sort of first one of these, which is the Tam Time Traveler's Guide to Medieval England, for a very long time, and I'm still reading it, but I've, you know, i gotten good time in, and I saw this in the museum shop for Westminster Abbey, and I thought, yeah, a paperback, it's perfect, I want this, and I got so excited, it was the first, very first book that I bought, and I grabbed it and paid. So, like you do with books you want to buy. But I really, I think he writes really, I can recommend this series to anybody who's interested in history. He writes sort of like comically, but also really interestingly, and it's like part, it's put into like small chapters really good and everything fits. Then I bought a first book in another series I've been dying to read, which is Who Could That Be at This Hour by Lemony Snicket, uh, the first book in the All the Wrong Questions series. And uh, I read this already. It was amazing. I know number two's out, but I wanted it in a paperback, and I don't think it's out yet in paperback. Um, this is sort of like a prequel series, I think, sort of, uh, to the series of unfortunate events. So, and it's 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 really odd. This is a book which would be perfectly described by the word odd, 
but it is odd and really, really good. <laughs> then I bought two puzzle books, I guess you could call them. I bought uh, Puzzles in Wonderland by R.W. Gulland and the Sherlock Holmes Puzzle Collection. And these two are sort of like, you know, puzzles, but like, you know, sort of like riddles uh, based upon Sherlock Holmes and Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, which are two of my favorite, like, books. So, yeah, I, fa I bought this in the Sherlock Holmes Museum uh, in London. It was, uh, you know, the one that's located, like, at 221B ba Baker Street, and I didn't go in. I've already been at the Sherlock Holmes Museum, but there was a lot of more people this time. Uh, when I was there first, uh, uh, Sherlock, the series Sherlock, hadn't come out yet, so Sherlock Holmes was, was nowhere near as popular. Uh, it was popular to people who had read the books, like me, and watch, also like me, uh, the, uh, uh, the older series, uh, uh, from Granada. Yeah, that one, if you know what I'm talking about. With Jeremy Brett. Yeah, that guy. I love this. There, those, are, those are actually still my favorite Sherlock Holmes TV series. Sorry, Sherlock. I'm sorry, Elementary. It has a special place in my heart. I almost squealed when I saw this book. It is The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. It is the, uh, I wouldn't call it a prequel, but it, in the timeline, it, this happens before The Hobbit. Like, so this, and then The Hobbit, and then The Lord of the Rings in like timeline wise. But a lot of people has have uh, suggested this book to me and said um, if you really like you know the Lord of the Rings series and stuff the Silmarillion is a really good one of them. And I had always planned on buying it and I didn't even know that this edition existed because it matches all my other editions. I squealed. I was like you have gotta be kidding me. This is the Silmarillion. This matches. This matches my stuff. Matches. And then I bought it because I like I couldn't buy it fast enough. It was so I love that I found all these perfect things. So I hope it's as good as you say. I definitely think it is because I trust you guys' opinion totally. This next book was sort of a last minute buy kind of thing and I'm really excited for this because I found a really pretty edition, and it was Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. And as you may or may not know, uh, Penguin has made like uh, Penguin Threads editions of classics, and then they have also made a, made a series called English Classics Deluxe, which will you'll understand that later. But this one is of the Penguin Threads edition and it looks like um, it's been designed, you know, like it was uh, soon. And then I was taking a picture of it and it's like it's like it's really, it looks really lifelike. And when you open you can see it's almost like the back of it. And I think that's really, really cool. So I, I had an edition of um, Little Women, which, which which was like part one, I think, and I didn't like it, and it was like abridged, I think, so I really wanted a proper edition, and now I do, and it is beautiful. I, I literally, I was on my way to the airport, getting home from London, when I saw this and bought this. So, when I said last minute, I kind of mean last minute. Now, next to that, I also bought in a a book which was in the Penguin Classics Deluxe Edition. And that was The Greek Myths by Robert Graves. And isn't this cover cool? I mean, it has like, you know, like comic book sort of style. And it's really thick. And I was looking actually for a book about the Greek myths and I didn't even know this existed. But I was browsing the mythology, uh, section in Waterstones and I found this totally by coincidence and it was the perfect match. I didn't even know you existed and it actually has a foreword by Rick Riordan who wrote the Percy Jackson series. That's cool right? Because I think that's totally cool. And it has like the collection of like 
all the Greek myths or something. So, yeah, I would say that's a fine for me. I love Greek mythology, it's my favorite one. And that was the books. Now I want to show you this me three tiny, tiny things that I, well, tiny and tiny, that I bought, you know, like, in museums and stuff. So, in the Sherlock Holmes Museum, uh, if any of you know, Sherlock Holmes actually plays, if any of you know, Sherlock Holmes actually plays the violin and you could buy this mini violin and I thought it was really cute. Also just, I mean, I know what Sherlock Holmes related, but still it's just a little cool thingy. So look. That's just that's just me nerding away. Then I bought something. I went to Hanley's and I went up to fourth floor, I think. Or third I think it's fourth floor. And there was a corner with the Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings merchandise. It's the Noble Collection. And I bought the One Ring. So yeah. I have officially all the power now. You are all my minions and I will rule over this day. No, actually no. I'm gonna throw this in you know, the fires of Mount Doom. Or am I? So yeah, I totally nerded out and I bought it. And I hadn't planned on doing it. The only thing I had planned on buying there was this. It's really easy to guess what it is. But I will show you anyway. Take the lid off. I actually bought extra to have this box with it. I know I'm weird. Ah ha! Avada Kedavra. Bam! Hermione's wand. I had actually a Hermione's wand uh, before this, but it was um, from the last time I went to London, which was like four years ago, and it was, but it was a plastic one that like had an illuminating tip, and I was like, this is not a real wand! So I bought a real one this time. It's actually really, really cool. I'm really, I'm, I love this. Because I've always identified with Hermione, like most girls, but poo. Let's just shut all the nerd back in the box. Sorry, I nerd out a lot. Let's take the, oh, let's keep the ring. So that was everything I bought in London. I hoped that, I hope <laughs> that you liked it. Um, uh, even though I have a really irregular uploading schedule, I hope you're still sticking around. On the channel. I love every single one of you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. In the description down down there there is a link to my Tumblr and my Goodreads if you want to befriend me on Goodreads and follow me on Tumblr. That would be fantastic. It would. It really would. I really like following what people are reading and stuff on Goodreads and Tumblr. Yeah. Tumblr is Tumblr. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!